Welcome to part 2 of tutorial 3. In this video, we will learn about half-bounded and unbounded intervals, and we will use interval notation to represent these types of intervals. Are you ready? Let's go! A half-bounded interval is an interval that has one endpoint on one side and no endpoint on the other side. Given this, a half-bounded interval can be left and right open, and there are two versions of this, left closed right open, or left open right closed. Let's go through each of these types, starting with a half-bounded interval that is left and right open. A general example of this type of interval is shown on the number line here. As you can see, this interval is half-bounded, because it has one endpoint on one side, in this case the left endpoint A, and no endpoint on the other side, as indicated by the arrow. Also, on the left, the interval is open because the endpoint A is excluded, as indicated by the open circle. In other words, on the left, the interval is open because the real numbers go on forever in approaching, but never actually reaching, the number A. Similarly, on the right, the interval is also open because the real numbers go on forever, in this case, in the positive direction of the number line. Using interval notation, we can represent this half-bounded left and right open interval as follows. Note that we include a symbol representing infinity. Infinity is not an actual number. It just means that the real numbers included in this interval go on forever in the positive direction of the number line. As a review exercise, pause this video and try to represent this interval in set builder notation, and when you have finished, press play and I will go through the solution. Okay, to represent this interval in set builder notation, we first define a variable x as a real number greater than a, and then we build the number set using curly brackets as shown here. Therefore, this half-bounded left and right open interval in set builder notation can be described as the set of all x such that x is greater than a, where x is an element of the set of real numbers. Good. Let's now look at an alternative version of this type of interval shown here on this number line. As you can see, this interval is half-bounded because it has one endpoint on one side, in this case the right endpoint B, and no endpoint on the other side, as indicated by the arrow. Also, on the left, the interval is open because the real numbers go on forever, in this case in the negative direction of the number line. Similarly, on the right, the interval is also open because the endpoint B is excluded, as indicated by the open circle. In other words, on the right, the interval is open because the real numbers go on forever in approaching, but never actually reaching, the number B. Using interval notation, we can represent this alternative half-bounded left and right open interval as follows. Note that this time, we not only include a symbol representing infinity, but we also include a negative sign in front of the infinity symbol. We do this to indicate that the real numbers in this interval go on forever in the negative direction of the number line. As a review exercise, pause this video and try to represent this interval in set builder notation, and when you have finished, press play and I will go through the solution. Okay, to represent this interval in set builder notation, we first define a variable x as a real number less than b, and then we build the number set using curly brackets as shown here. Therefore, this alternative half-bounded left and right open interval in set builder notation can be described as the set of all x such that x is less than b, where x is an element of the set of real numbers. Great. Let's now look at a half-bounded interval that is left closed right open. A general example of this type of interval is shown on the number line here. As you can see, this interval is half-bounded because it has one endpoint on one side, in this case the left endpoint A, and no endpoint on the other side as indicated by the arrow. Also, on the left, 
the interval is closed because the endpoint A is included, as indicated by the closed circle. In contrast, on the right, the interval is open because the real numbers go on forever, in this case, in the positive direction of the number line. Using interval notation, we can represent this half-bounded left closed right open interval as follows. As a review exercise, pause this video and try to represent this interval in set builder notation and when you have finished, press play and I will go through the solution. Ok, to represent this interval in set builder notation, we first define a variable x as a real number greater than or equal to a and then we build the number set using curly brackets as shown here. Therefore, this half bounded left closed right open interval in set builder notation can be described as the set of all x such that x is greater than or equal to a where x is an element of the set of real numbers. Fantastic! Let's now look at a half bounded interval that is left open right closed. A general example of this type of interval is shown on the number line here. As you can see, this interval is half bounded because it has one endpoint on one side, in this case the right endpoint B, and no endpoint on the other side, as indicated by the arrow. Also on the left, the interval is open because the real numbers go on forever, in this case in the negative direction of the number line. In contrast, on the right, the interval is closed because the endpoint B is included, as indicated by the closed circle. Using interval notation, we can represent this half bounded left open right closed interval as follows. As a review exercise, pause this video and try to represent this interval in set builder notation and when you have finished, press play and I will go through the solution. Ok, to represent this interval in set builder notation, we first define a variable x as a real number less than or equal to b and then we build the number set using curly brackets as shown here. Therefore, this half bounded left open right closed interval in set builder notation can be described as the set of all x such that x is less than or equal to b where x is an element of the set of real numbers. And there we have it. These four types of intervals are all possible types of half bounded intervals that can be created. Let's now conclude this tutorial by discussing unbounded intervals. An unbounded interval is an interval that has no endpoints whatsoever. Hence, an unbounded interval can only be an open interval as shown here on this number line. Using interval notation, this unbounded interval can be represented as follows. Where the negative and positive infinity symbols indicate that the numbers included in this interval go on forever in both the negative and positive directions of the number line, respectively. As you've probably realised, this unbounded interval is, in fact, the set of all real numbers, which can be represented in set builder notation as follows. The set of all x, such that x is an element of the set of real numbers. What a nice and easy way to end this tutorial. Thank you very much for your attention. If you found our videos helpful, please be sure to like them and please subscribe to our channel so that we can continue to produce more. All the best and see you next time for more fun and learning.